B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. The Global Climate Action Forum 2024 was held from May 16th to 17th at the Himawari Hotel Apartments. Co-organized by the W Foundation and the Cambodian Ministry of Environment, the forum intended to enhance understanding of Cambodia's future vision for climate action with wide participation from the private sector and government bodies. Cambodia has indeed put in place clean, clear framework for public and private investments to join hand in climate action. Our updated nationally determined contribution and 2050 long-term strategy for carbon neutrality, providing specific priority in adaptation, mitigation, governance, clean finance, and transparency toward a carbon neutral economy by 2050 through decarbonization and green economic transitions. The actions we take today will shape the destiny of our planet for generations to come. The challenges we face are immense and undeniable. From devastating wildfires and rising sea levels and to extreme weather events and melting ice caps, the impact of climate change is all around us. This is not a distant threat. It is happening now, affecting lives, ecosystems, and economies worldwide. This forum will be a melting pot of ideas, a hub for innovation, and a catalyst for action. We will exchange groundbreaking research, discuss transformative policies, and forge new partnerships. Our objectives are clear. The balance of the nature has been altered and it is altering permanently. The question is, how do we adopt ourselves to this new altered environment? We've been working on climate change for the past 28 years and moving to 29 years. Have we accomplished anything at all? Uh, we managed to control the climate to a suitable environment that we all can live in comfortably. Well, 1.5 degrees Celsius, I think it's already passed. We have to look at it very seriously. We have to work on it very seriously. And we did on COP28. We have managed to raise funds for close to $100 billion to fight against climate change. We had a chance to speak with one of the key organizers, Kevin W. Lee, chairman of the W Foundation, to get more insight into the forum's purpose. So the main purpose of this forum is to bring in the whole um, government, private sector, NGO startups together and share the knowledge about the climate, climate field, climate technology or carbon credit. Any kinds of can be the, from the green in initiative together because we have to work as one to solve this, the climate change problem together. It's participated from all kinds of sectors like finance, manufacturing, energy, um, even startup, um, even logistics, transportation. That means all sectors are now related to climate change. And, and also very, one of the most highlights is participated from the global companies worldwide. And that uh, leads to the great interest in green initiative together. The 2024 Global Climate Action Forum featured several focused presentation and discussion sessions on pressing climate issues across various sectors. A session on manufacturing, for example, featured some discussion of what steps companies have been taking to reduce their climate footprint in factories, which includes meeting global ESG disclosure standards. Sessions on green investment and finance tackle the challenge of collecting enough funding to achieve Cambodia's climate goals, which the World Bank predicts could require 36 billion US dollars in incremental investment. One of the ways this need is being addressed is through the Cambodian Climate Finance Facility under the Green Climate Fund, which had its funding proposal recently approved in March 2024. We spoke with Mui Hui Hong, Division Chief of the Agriculture and Rural Development Bank, who gave a presentation on the facility. 
So uh, CCFF is the uh, first Asian National Vehicle Climate Fund under the Green Climate Fund. So it is a hundred million lending facility. We strategically designed to provide wholesale funding to local financial institutions as well as direct funding to the climate project that address the climate change mitigation and climate change adaptation. It is important to note that CCFF is aligned with the Cambodia National NDC and Cambodia National Adaptation Plan. It's important for the countries as uh, we said that we, are need, we need finance to combat with climate change. So ARB work with the developing partner to access to that fund. So it would help firstly to help farmer to, I mean, uh, to transit from their business as usual agriculture, uh, for example, in agriculture sector, to transit to the modern and sustainable agriculture. So which means in that process we could uh, reuse the carbon reduction emission.